Hi, I'm Trev Hutchings, and this is how to use the auto filter in BandLab. Double tap on the track header and tap on effects. Tap on the plus icon, scroll through the tabs, and tap on the modulation tab. Then tap on auto filter. OK, so before I get into the settings, let me tell you what the auto filter does. Filters are used to add or remove sound frequencies, so they change the tone of the sound. The auto part means automation, so here it is used to automatically change the filter and therefore automatically changes the tone of the sound. And because the automation loops, it creates a warble effect. Now it can be used to create the way analog synth tones tend to fluctuate. Or it is more commonly used these days in modern music to add rhythmic motion to tracks to make the tracks sound more interesting, particularly on sounds that don't have any modulation, like digital drums, bass guitar, and piano. OK, so let's look at the settings. And the settings can be split into three sections with the first section being the filter. Filter mode sets the type of filter. Tap on the filter drop list to see the options. LPF is a low pass filter and turns the volume down to zero for all the sound frequencies above the sound frequency set by the frequency slider. So it is used to remove treble. HPF is a high pass filter and turns the volume down to zero for all sound frequencies below the sound frequency set by the frequency slider. So it is used to remove bass. BPF turns the volume down to zero for all sound frequencies above and below the sound frequency set by the frequency slider. So it is used to make the track sound thinner. And Notch turns the volume down to zero for the sound frequency set by the frequency slider so it is used to remove mid-range frequencies. For now, tap on HPF. Now I will move all the sliders to the left to effectively turn them off, except the drive slider. The frequency slider sets the frequency used by the filter. So here it sets the frequency for the high pass filter, which then turns the volume of the sound frequencies below the frequency slider frequency to zero. So if I drag the frequency slider right, more and more of the sound will be removed. Now the sensitivity slider basically controls the volume of the sound frequencies that have been turned down to zero by the filter. So if I drag the sensitivity slider right, the volume of the sound frequencies that were set to zero by the filter will gradually be increased. So adding some of the sound frequencies back in. So it works rather like me on a compressor. The resonance slider is used to resonate the sound frequency of the frequency slider, which basically adds a kind of tremolo effect to the sound frequency. So if I drag the resonance slider right, this tremolo type effect increases. OK, so that's the filter section done. Now let's look at the auto section. Here I will drag the LFO depth slider all the way to the right. 
the LFO rate slider sets how long the automation loop is. The LFO rate slider is currently set to sync mode, so it synchronizes to the beat. And if I drag the LFO rate slider right, the automation loop gets longer, with the longest length repeating the loop every half a beat. Tap on beat to unsync the LFO rate. Now, rather confusingly, if I drag the LFO rate slider right, the automation loop gets shorter. Tap on HZ to return to the sync mode. As the LFO runs through its loop, it automatically moves the frequency slider, causing the tone to change, and then return back to the original tone you set on the frequency slider. How much the frequency slider is changed by, and therefore how much the tone changes, is set by the LFO depth slider. If I drag the LFO depth slider left, the amount the frequency slider is changed by is reduced. OK, that's the Auto section. And finally, we have the Gain section. The Drive slider sets the amount of gain. So if I drag the slider left, the volume level is reduced. And if I drag right, the volume is increased. And as I drag right, the volume gradually overloads the effect and adds distortion to the sound. Now, if I set the filter mode to LPF, the frequency to about 2700 Hz, resonance to about 5, sensitivity to about 3.5, Set the LFO depth to 1. Set the LFO rate to unsynced 0 0.4. And leave drive set to 0 0.8. You should be able to hear that the snare sound pretty much changes every time, adding a more natural sounding snare to the beat. If you enjoyed this video, do give us a thumbs up and click on that subscribe button. Cheers.